Well, these are two videos that I created using the video model in Google Flow. And as you can see, even though the videos are only seven seconds long, they are actually looping, which means it's kind of difficult to tell when the video actually ends and when it is actually start all over again. So this looping effect is quite popular and there are many projects or videos or presentations where people are utilizing a looping video in their project. So I'm going to show you how you can achieve this effect using Google Flow, although there is going to be one big issue that we have to deal with later. But for now, let's just focus creating this effect via Google Flow. Now, for this demonstration, I'll try to use this picture and I'm going to turn that into a looping video just like this one, except perhaps the color of the sky is a bit different. This one is actually more like red or orange, while this example is actually pink or purple. But anyway, let's continue. I'm going to download this picture to my computer. Now, let's open Google Flow. So this is the URL and I'm going to start a new project. Okay, so the one feature that you need to use in Google Flow to create a looping video is frames to video. Click this button and select frames to video. Now after that, you can click this plus button and then click upload and then I'm going to select that picture. And then I will select the orientation to be a landscape and I will click crop and save. Now just wait for the picture to be processed and uploaded to your Google Flow account. Okay, after that, you can click this plus button. This is for the last frame and you have to select the exact same frame again. So I'm going to click this. Now, for the setting, I will use the landscape aspect ratio and the output is just 1 and for the model is VO 3.1 fast. It is a decent model and fast and also not very expensive. Now, for the prompt, it's really up to your need. If you want to create uh, any video using Google Flow, then you can describe it right here. But in this case, I just want to create a simple effect similar to the previous example that I have shown you earlier in this video. So basically, it is just a camera dolly in effect. Camera slow and of course, no audio. And when you're done with the settings, the first and last frames, you can click this button and just wait for Google Flow to turn that picture into a video. And later, I'll show you the next step to make the looping effect to be as perfect as possible. So I'll be back in a second. Well, I got this video. It's not actually perfect because if you look closely, the end frame and the first frame is not exactly matching. At least the movement is not exactly the same. And that's because the first frame is actually a few frames too late and we have to fix that. So you can use a third party video editor to clean that. And I do recommend to use that because it is going to be more precise, but you can also use the built-in simple editor in Google Flow to fix this issue. So what you need to do is to click add to scene and it will open this scene builder. Okay, I'm going to dismiss this. This is not very important. Okay, so this is the one thing that you can do. So basically you want to remove about this much of frames about this. Could be less, could be more, but this is usually the setting or the threshold that I use to create a perfectly looping video. It is not a lot and Perhaps it is kind of difficult to get it perfectly first time. And after that, you can click this button to download the video. Now, unfortunately, you cannot really rely on the preview uh, mode in this editor because it is actually still showing the part of the video that you just removed. So you cannot just, you know, preview the uh, final video. You need to download the video first and then later you can check it out. And if there is anything that still not quite correct, then you can do it again. Now I'm going to click download. And let's play this video locally and hopefully it is perfectly looping uh, so I don't have to redo the process, this process all over again. Okay, wait for it. Okay, it's not perfect. I gotta say it is not quite perfect. Almost, but not quite. Yeah, so I guess I'm going to do it again. Uh, perhaps I'm going to remove about this much. So it's a bit more than the previous one. And let's try it again. 
So that's why at the beginning I mentioned that it is better to use a third-party video editor because the built-in editor in Google Flow is just not very precise and there is no option to select which frames that you want to remove. So yeah, we are working with a massive limitation here, but again, let's see the result once again. Okay, still working, still going on. Okay, this one is a lot better. I can tell it is a lot better, even though it's not perfect. I can tell it's almost like 99.99% perfect. So I think I can I can live with it. I think I'm totally fine, even though it is not uh, perfectly looping. So I would say it's decent, and I guess that's it. That's how you can create a near perfect looping video using the video model via Google Flow. Again, you can use the frames to video feature, and then you can remove just a few frames or at the beginning of the video to get a near perfect looping effect so that's how you can do it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on my next video i wish you a great day ahead